Hey y'all, Chuck here. My beautiful page. Anyway, I was gonna make this video earlier, but today's been a great day. I sold my boat. Uh, I'm so happy to sell my boat. So now I just have to sell my house and my car and, and that'll be it, we'll be done. So I figured the boat would be the hardest thing to sell, but it was the first thing to sell. So anyway, it sold, so I'm happy. Well, I've been stuck in this trailer for a week, getting everything organized. Mainly, I've been working on the property out here, trying to clean things up. And, you know, we moved our, all of our stuff from our house into the, uh, into the, to my mom's house. So we've been bringing stuff in here and trying to organize and try to figure out what we're going to take on our trip. So I just want to show you some of the modifications that I have made so far. Uh, some of the things you probably already know about. Uh, I just want to kind of go through some of the things that I thought were uh, pretty cool that we did. So the very first thing that I put in here, and I realized that I didn't have any shelves for our storage and my closet. So I added a shelf here. And this was a little bit higher, so I dropped that down and I added a shelf here. And I know I said that on my video before about adding my clock. And then I added this fan, this Vornado fan. I'm going to have to figure out something better on that because it's not... Anyway, I'll fix that to where it's, uh, it sits up in there better. But the fan doesn't really work that well. But we needed some kind of circulation in the room, so... I got the shelves we put in here. Got the fan we put in here. Oh yeah, LED lights. So, you know, I've been looking on YouTube about things to do for the trailer. So I saw this thing where, you know, and I know LED, LED lights, they don't, uh, they don't require, the well, they require less power to run. So I said, well, shoot, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find some. And I found some on eBay and, uh, they were pretty cheap, but you know, I bought a bunch of them because they don't last. So you would think LED lights could last a very long time because they don't really absorb a lot of power, but check it out. For whatever reason, these little, they, these, let me just open this stand thing for you. See, I don't know if you can see that or not, but the little pieces fall out of the damn light. What the hell is that? Why does that happen? I don't understand that. So these are the lights that I bought right here. I don't, I mean, I'm sure I'm hooking them up right. I mean, I, I, I don't know. Uh, they just plug in the damn socket, but they're not working. And I still have the original bulbs that went in there so i'm holding on to them maybe i can find something better i don't know but the led lights definitely make it brighter in here you can see so i like them i like the lights i just wish they wouldn't like explode in the damn okay so what else what else so i've got in the bathroom for whatever reason i guess they didn't think it was necessary for me to have a toilet holder so let me turn my crappy LED light on. There you go. And I put a towel holder there. Uh, I don't know. Uh, also a toothbrush holder. I put that in there. I'm not really sure where they expected me to put my toothbrush. I guess somewhere in there. I don't know. So, you know, I had to add a couple things to hold our stuff, you know. Uh, if you're living in it, you, you know, you don't want to just bouncing around in the cab my cabinets are full look at that bam i don't know maybe that's too much stuff i'm not sure but you know we got to have some essentials i think so also you know i just bought this at the store something to hold the towel in this bathroom there's nowhere to hold the towels now this isn't a brand new trailer the trailer is a 2007 maybe the newer ones are a little bit better I did look at some new ones before we bought this and I just wasn't really wanting to, I mean, I felt like I'd be staying in the Hilton. So, uh, okay, I'm about to break my shower head. 
so I, I bought this shower head which I mentioned in a previous video this shower head was pretty expensive but it is well worth it it doesn't require a whole lot of pressure um, and you can it's got a valve to turn off and turn on so if you want to conserve water you know you can you can turn out if you're boondocking or something and you, you got just water in your storage tank but it works great it really works great and uh, i added these shelves here to hold our stuff of course i know you can't travel with that so we're going to put the box up you know on the floor and stick everything in that box or container or whatever you want to call it next oh the next thing was this curtain and i i told you about that in another video the curtain basically is for privacy so and, you know in case i want to wake up and use the restroom uh you know i put a curtain up so i don't have to wake up my wife and i don't think she wants to wake up seeing me on the toilet because for whatever reason the toilet is like you can't leave our room without walking through the bathroom which is kind of weird but i mean it's not undoable it's fine i, I don't care another thing that what i thought was a good idea and uh, i still do think it's a good idea is little battery powered lights you know if i wake up in the middle of the night and need to use the restroom and i don't want to turn on my bright led light because i don't want it to explode I just bam you know I've got one over there and then when I come in here and I close my curtain I just push this one and that's it so four batteries you know and then I can see everything just fine I don't have to turn on the LEDs and blind myself so I thought that was a pretty cool little thing I put a couple I put a couple in here one here yeah anyway that was cool okay. next thing i did was i put some carpet on our stairs because when i got the trailer and i stepped outside the trailer for the very first time i almost fell down so i thought of the idea of cutting some carpet and putting it on the stairs for some grip I know they've got you know tape that you could stick on there, grip tape, but the carpet serves as two purposes. I can knock off the grass and the dirt and not bust my ass when I fall out the door. When I step out the door. And not bust my ass when I step out the door. Okay, the next thing I got is this knife magnet I thought was pretty handy because there's nothing worse than digging in a drawer full of knives and you cut the shit out of your finger, so I figured I would just add a magnet to the knives. I did travel once already on a, uh, a 200 mile trip with this and it, they all stayed up there. So, so far so good. So the magnet, magnet thing worked pretty good. I didn't really have a place to put my silverware. I've got these drawers. This one's kind of useless. I've got like random cooking stuff in there and just some seasoning we got like tons of seasoning here so we can probably sell seasoning on our trip look at that got this got that i bought these shelves here to help organize our seasoning so that way we can pack it full of seasoning we got enough seasoning bag yeah. okay yeah so I didn't have a place to put my silverware, so I, I bought this little plastic thing, and I, I had to screw it up. It kind of wedged in here, and I put some of that badass two-sided tape on there, but it didn't hold, so I stuck a little screw up in there, but it seems to be holding, and then when I travel, I just kind of put it up here, and then I haven't really figured that out yet, but anyway, I'll secure it, but this is where I keep my silverware. And I think that's the best spot for that. So I just wanted to tell you a couple of modifications uh, that I had done to the trailer that I'm so far happy with, except for the, the dam for that. I really, I really still, I don't understand that. So uh, I think I've pretty much covered everything. Uh, you know, 
I mean, it's no big deal, but you know, these hangers right here, there's really no place to hang crap. So you always need hangers, hanger there, hanger here, hanger there, hanger everywhere. So you always need some hangers. I've, I added a Blu-ray here because you know they they got those little red red box places to get movies if we're rained out and we can't do anything i want to get a movie so we got i got that that i added and i just stuck it up in there so you know another thing that i added to the trailer this did have this is a 2007 so it had a bigger tv that was mounted right here but i added this little flat screen and i bought this little swivel here and i, I attached it to one of the studs of course i had to find the stud i I drew, uh, I drilled a couple of unnecessary holes, but anyway, it works good. So it swivels fine, and I can move it out of the way. And I don't know. So far, so good. We're trying not to watch too much TV. So. Well, that's it. Those are my little mods that I've done. Oh shit! One more. I bought this at IKEA. I don't know if you know what an IKEA is, but this kind of holds shoes. Stuff. There was a bookshelf here, and uh, I mean, I like to read books, but it wasn't like I had to have a bookshelf in my trailer. Like, that was one of the most important. Let's build a structure to hold books in my trailer that doesn't really hold a lot of things. So, I took it out. So, shoes, I thought maybe because I got freaking shoes everywhere. I got shoes here, here. I got shoes there. I got shoes outside. I've got a drawer full of shoes in my truck. So I've got a container with drawers in my truck. I'm not gonna show you that, but I've got a lot of freaking shoes. Actually, my wife has a lot of shoes. They're not big shoes, I'll say. They're little tiny petite shoes. But they're there's a lot of damn shoes, so anyway. <laughs> It's okay, your shoes are fine. Okay. Have as many shoes as you want. Okay. Okay. Uh, ten. Yeah, you've got more than ten. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, again, that's all I wanted to show you, and thanks for watching. If you like it, subscribe. If you don't like it, don't subscribe. Leave a comment. Tell me I suck. Whatever you want, I don't care. I'm easy. Thanks. about adding my clock and then I added this fan this Vornado fan I'm gonna have to figure out something better on that because it's not anyway I'll fix that to where it's uh it sits up in there better but the fan doesn't really work that well but we needed some kind of circulation in the room so I got the shelves we put in here got the fan we put in here Oh yeah, LED lights. So, you know, I've been looking on YouTube about things to do for the trailer. So I saw this thing where, you know, and I know LED, LED lights, they don't, uh, they don't require, the well, they require less power to run. So I said, well, shit, I'm to my mom's house. So we've been bringing stuff in here and trying to organize and try to figure out what we're gonna take on our trip, so. I just want to show you some of the modifications that I have made so far. Uh, some of the things you probably already know about. Uh, but I just want to kind of go through some of the things that I thought were uh, pretty cool that we did. So the very first thing that I put in here, and I realized that I didn't have any shelves for our storage and my closet. so. I added a shelf here and this was a little bit higher so I dropped that down and I added a shelf here and I know I said that on the video before I mean I'm sure I'm hooking them up right I mean I I, I don't know uh, they just plug in the damn socket but they're not working and I still have the original bulbs that went in there so I'm holding on to them maybe I can find something better I don't know but the LED lights definitely make it brighter in here you can see so I like them I like the lights I just wish they wouldn't like explode in the damn case so what else what else so I've got in the bathroom for whatever reason I guess they didn't think it was necessary for me to have a toilet holder so 
Let me turn my crappy LED light on. There you go. I'm gonna I'm gonna find some, and I found some on eBay, and uh, they were pretty cheap. But you know, I bought a bunch of them because they don't last. So you would think LED lights could last a very long time because they don't really absorb a lot of power. But check it out. For whatever reason, these little they these, let me just open this stand thing for you. See. I don't know if you can see that or not, but the little pieces fall out of the damn lot. What the hell is that? Why does that happen? I don't understand that. So these are the lights that I bought right here. I don't... Hey, y'all. Chuck here. My beautiful page. Anyway... I was gonna make this video earlier, but today's been a great day. I sold my boat. Uh, I'm so happy to sell my boat. So now I just have to sell my house and my car and, and that'll be it, we'll be done. So I figured the boat would be the hardest thing to sell, but it was the first thing to sell. So anyway, it sold, so I'm happy. Well, I've been stuck in this trailer for a week, getting everything organized. Mainly I've been working on the property out here trying to clean things up and you know we moved our all of our stuff from our house into the uh, into the